Good morning students. Today we will continue the exercises. Exercise number B, C from page number 28. Look at here. Today we will have the discussion. Okay. Discussion of question number B and C page number 28. So please okay, look at your book now. We have already studied the kinds of pronouns we have learned on the other day and today we will practice some of the exercises which is given at page number 28. Speaker. First one you see. Interrogative. Then is the girl. Again dash relative swims fast. So what to be placed here? Just listen okay. Which. The first one. Which. Which is the girl who swims fast who swims fast next one she is mania she has okay personal you have to write okay she is a personal pronoun so we'll write that personal has clocked her best time and has broken her own record do you know that girl in red googles speaker one yes this is sanya okay so we have to place number three right this over here what kind of pronoun is it demonstrative isn't it the girl who okay again we have to place a relative who is a relative relative challenged mania last year but for unfortunately she lost okay you right after that she lost sanya herself you write okay sanya and here you write herself had become overconfident that is the reason and after that okay you continue that is the reason mania won the medal which okay you can write okay which which could sanya uh, which could have been sanya's so children look at the the answers okay which i have written and within the bracket the helper also given okay which kind of pronoun we are supposed to place okay we will see the help which is given there and try to write let us move on to question number c as i've already told you what is written there each line of the story uses an incorrect pronoun circle the incorrect pronouns and write the correct ones in the blanks. So dear students, what do you have to do? You have to write the sentence as it is. Like the first one. Rick was a farm boy. Rick was a farm boy. And what is written there? Which took. So we need to find out the problem here. What is the mistake here? Rick was a farm boy. This is the wrong. We have to rewrite them. Okay. What would be the correct answer? Who? The second one you see. What is written there? The sheep to the field for grazing. The sheep to the field for grazing whole stuff they took now you see the sheep okay who took a week was a farm boy who took the sheep to the field for grazing full stuff he here it is written over they took instead of they okay this is a wrong one what would be the correct one he okay so this way you will have to continue 
all these things and write them in case of any difficulties please inform me and uh, today we'll learn something more about the case so dear students you see page number 29 observe these sentences he is eating breakfast Neeti is playing with me. See the words okay, which are written in colored. The book on the table is mine. So see all these pronouns okay, are written in color. In the first sentence, he is the subject. When a pronoun is the subject or the doer of the action, it is the subjective, okay, subjective case. Or nominative case. In the second sentence, me is the object. When a pronoun is the object or the receiver of the action, it is called the objective case. And the third sentence, mine shows possession. When a pronoun shows possessions, then it is the possessive case. So I'm just writing for you. This case is divided into how many? Three. What is the first one? Subjective. Subjective or what is known as this one? Nominative. Nominative. And the second one is objective. And the third one is possessive. These are three types of case. Now, when we talk about subjective or nominative, we need to remember, okay, the pronoun which is used is the subject. Here, the pronoun has to be what? The pronoun, okay? This pronoun has to be what? The subject. Subject or doer of the action. Doer of the action here the pronoun okay which is used pronoun okay here it will be used a pronoun and that will be what object so this becomes okay here we need to remember objective case okay this pronoun is always the receiver you understand receiver of the action and the possessive okay possessive it shows, okay, when a pronoun shows possession, it shows what? The pronoun, okay, which is used here, the pronoun always shows what? Remember, okay, shows possession. Just remember all these things, okay? Always it will show possession. This case, you see, it is divided into three. First one is subjective or nominative case. The objective and possessive case now how to find out okay how to find out the pronouns okay which is the subject if it is the subject or doer of the action then it will be known as what subjective case if the pronouns used here is an object okay how will you understand if it is the receiver of the action then that will be called as objective case and the possessive okay possessive pronouns okay how will you understand it will show possessions hope i have made it clear to you now you have to write okay the definition definitions of all this okay remember to write the definitions definitions of what a subjective case objective case and possessive case and make a chart as it is given in page number 29 chart is given there subjective case objective case and possessive case okay so this one this chart you have to make it and write the definitions of all this and uh, the next day we'll continue with the exercises if any kind of doubts are there please inform me thank you so much